my hen has scaly legs. If you're noticing your hen's legs starting to look unwell and they're looking a bit different and you're concerned that they might have scaly legs, you want to see are the scales on her leg raised up and are there these white crusty scabs forming around the legs and toes as well. That probably means they have scaly legs. It's an infestation when these very small microscopic mites get under the scales of a bird's leg. Um, any bird, you know, that's got scales and toes can get this. And then the mites live there and they're like eating off, uh, they're making the, the chicken's cells multiply and secrete the serum and the mites are feeding off of that. It's really painful and irritating uh, for the hens. And so you might even start to notice them, you know, walking a bit tenderly, uh, looking a bit uncomfortable with their step. It's really treatable now with modern medicine. So there's no need for your hens to continue being uncomfortable. Um, I can treat my hens for this. I find it helpful having someone help me when I'm doing the treatment for scaly legs. So you'll see here, I've got my partner holding the hens, keeping them calm while I spray on their foot and rub it in with a toothbrush. They're a bit like, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> but afterwards, they're okay. They're a little bit squirmy. Um, but if you're watching this and you haven't had to handle them like that before, uh, you can do this. You can do it. Um, and if you've got someone else to help you too, that's a bonus. I have a hen who's over five years old now, and we've been treating her on and off occasionally for scaly legs. And uh, what we've been doing up till now is washing her legs and putting petroleum jelly on. And that helps uh, not uh, it helps soften the legs to help encourage a regrowth for scales. It helps smother the mites a bit, uh, kind of starving them of oxygen when you put the petroleum jelly on. And that's helped, but we've gotten to the point where we really need it to do something uh, more intensive because it's gotten a bit worse this season. So our local feed store recommended a spray treatment specifically for scaly legs. And we've been treating her now for over a month. So you'll see in this footage some previous uh, footage of what her foot looked like initially and how it's looking now. So the treatment recommended was to spray um, her legs with the, the treatment spray. Then take a toothbrush and really rub that in gently, but you know, get it under the scales, get it as high up the legs as you can around the feathers in between the toes. And after that, put petroleum jelly on top of it. And that holds the treatment onto the leg for longer. And it softens, it provides like a wet healing uh, for her legs to encourage the scales to regrow. At the same time, because we're treating my old head, there's a, these mites are very easily spread. So even though my other four hens aren't showing symptoms, we're still going to treat all the hens because it's very, very likely they probably all have this mite now. So we're going to do the same thing with the mites at the uh, treatment at, at the same time as our other hen. So we're spraying their legs, we're putting petroleum jelly on, and in, t in addition to that, we're doing um, a disinfectant cleaning of all the perches, and we're putting a mite powder into the coop flooring, which is dry sand and topsoil mix. So with all these kind of treatments, we're just kind of blasting <laughs> all the hens, blasting the coop, and hopefully we won't have scaly legs. That's just going to take get rid of the mites, and our hens are going to hopefully start feeling better really soon. Hi, I'm Beth from Garden City Chickens. Weekly I make a video and write in my blog about the backyard chickens in my garden and how I'm caring for them and what I'm planting up so they have a nice little place to live in my little garden in the UK. I suspect we got mites um, into our garden, into our flock, probably from wild birds that visit our rear garden. Um, either that, um, either infested wild birds or potentially from infested logs or branches that we occasionally collect and we bring home and we use these for like part of our landscaping or we use them for purchase for the hens. We try to limit our backyard chickens interactions with wild birds. So we do have bird, wild bird feeders, but we do keep those only in the front garden for the wild birds. 
So there, you know, we get lots of wild birds in the front garden where our hens don't go. In the rear garden, because we grow a lot of things, uh, including sunflowers and stuff, we, we do attract wild birds into our rear garden. Um, but they're not sharing like a same feeding area. The wild birds don't go to the chicken feeder. They don't go to the chicken waterer. So there's not that, you know, uh, there's not that often interaction. It would be more like the wild bird sits on a head, sits on a bush, gets some little berries, and then flies off. But needless to say, there still could be an infested bird uh, interacting with ours and, and spreading it anyways. In the past, there were treatments like diesel, which is not allowed anymore. It's carcinogenic and it can be really painful for the hens if uh, you know, you're covering them with those types of products. So do not do that anymore. Even though it was effective, there are gentler, safe way, safer ways to treat your hens today. So use the modern methods. <laughs> Have you had a case of scaly legs in your flock? And how are they doing now? Feel free to write something in the comments below about your scaly leg flock and or you could write me a message. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next week. Thank you. Bye.